All right, so here he is, one of a handful of two division champions in UFC history, my broadcast partner and one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, UFC Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier back on the proven ground tonight. As DC makes the walk to the octagon, you know he's as fashionable as they get. But ultimately, when this man steps into the octagon, he goes out there, fights with a high pace, a lot of pressure, and really tries to overwhelm his opponents. His in-your-face style is constant. It's overwhelming. He has all the skills that have made him and allowed him to become a UFC double champion and a UFC Hall of Famer. And as you can see, he's got the haircut on point. The fight week beard has given way to the goatee, and Cormier is still motivated at this stage of his career, so we'll see what he has for this particular opposition tonight. But more often than not, people know what DC brings to the table, and they have been unable to stop. Mike Tyson's in the game, ladies and gentlemen. The last boxing competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This feel, this felt like an eventuality. Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much and he loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the rest like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Daniel D.C. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Mike. Tyson! Herb Dean, our referee Ready for fight. this one. Ready. All right, DC, we'll see what you have for Mike Tyson here tonight. I know you guys have spent some time together, but you'll table that friendship for 25 minutes or fewer of your time. What I've got for Mike Tyson is a healthy serving of double and single legs because it's all wrestling all the time as Daniel Cormier takes on Mike Tyson. The one thing you got to know is you got to be smart when you're in there with Iron Mike. The only way to be smart is not to Coleman would be proud. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Nice positional control here. Oh, it's going triangle here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Able to get his momentum going 
back towards his opponent, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. I you know I love popcorn. <laughs> Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Tyson. Making all these shots count. Relentless pressure from the top by Cormier. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. And very effective with the ground and pound. Under 20 seconds now to go. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Uh, horn sounds for the end of round one. Hey, so there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Some damage done there with the two knockdowns. Big, big round he from Mike Tyson. Relax. Beautiful knockdown. Wow, that could have been a 10-8 round for you. But we want to finish. So moving forward, we know this guy's a guy. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Nice one two there. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it. Set the equilibrium. Nice high kick. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off after several failed attempts. He finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do. Side control. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, right into Mount. He's having his way with him here. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by DC. Yeah. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Tyson. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Lands with the ground and pound here. Tyson's in half court. Now he's going full mount. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cormier. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh. 30 seconds to go in round two. He's gonna 
start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. So Iron Mike Tyson's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. He's scared of you now. He's all right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Man, it's a nice jab there. Straight right, he misses. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Great job. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Cormier's in half guard now. Oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. Cormier's looking for that arm triangle. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Well, I mean, this is this is high level grappling by both of these guys. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before he gets given up. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, he's got the choke. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Good work from the top here by Cormier. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nicely done. Final seconds of round three. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge oh, oh. punch to the head there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All your punches are around. It's looking good. I love it. Keep it up. Keep the pressure. Let's take it. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent from the fight? top position. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you end the And 
just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice level change. Side control now. Getting the ball here. Beautiful transition. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Cormier. She's a big shot, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Trying to set up a choke here. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. North-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by DC. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 31 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel D.C. So just the way he drew it up with his kids in the building, Daniel Cormier by knockout tonight. I, I mean, I knew it, John. I mean, I have dynamite in my hands, huh. and if I'm able to land, you go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened tonight. So congrats to video game me looking as fabulous as he's ever looked on that video screen, on that TV screen. Looking.